Wilson is dead. Well, Dan, that had to be the bloodiest and hands down the most brutal fight this city has ever seen. Coolidge was out of there faster than I've ever seen a victorious boxer leave the ring. Do you think he knew Wilson was dead? My guess would be yes, Richard. I could see from my position here the frenzy in his eyes. Give way to the realization of what he was doing. I think any man would have let the ring that fast. Dan, do you feel that this tragedy is going to have an effect on the world oh, of boxing? Oh, Richard, a tragedy like this can't help but shake the world of boxing to its very foundations. But paramount importance is during the sad weeks ahead, the eyes of the WBA remain... ready to pop a cap in his ass. I will take care of it. Mister. Hey, mister. What? You were in that fight. The fight on the radio. You're the fighter? Let me give you that idea. No, come on. You're him. I know you're him. Tell me you're him. You killed the other boxing man. He's dead? The radio said he was dead. Sorry about that, Floyd. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? Killing a man. Beating another man to death with your bare hands. Oh, you a weirdo? No. He's a subject I have not interest in. You are the first person I have ever met who has killed somebody. So? What does it feel like to kill a man? I'll tell you what. Give me one of the cigarettes you got up there and I'll tell you all about it. Until you told me he was dead. And then I know he's dead. You wanna know how I feel about it? I don't feel the least bit bad about it. What the fuck I tell you? Huh? As soon as the word got out, the fix was in, man. The eyes went through the roof. I know. I know. Unbelievable. Hey, fuck him, Scotty. If he was a better boxer, he'd still be alive. If he never laced up his gloves, which he never should have done in the first fucking place, he'd still be alive. 
yeah, well, who gives a fuck? It's over now. Yeah, well, enough about the poor, unfortunate Mr. Floyd. Let's talk about the rich and prosperous Mr. Butch. How many bookies you lay around them? All eight? How long to collect? So you have it all by tomorrow night? No, I understand. A few stragglers aside. Oh, fuck, Scotty. That is good news. That is great news, man. Yeah. Mm hmm No, me and Fabiana are going to leave in the morning. And it'll probably take us a couple days to get down to Knoxville. Okay, my brother. <laughs> You're right. You're goddamn right. All right, Scotty. Next time I see you, we'll be on Tennessee time. Cool, brother. Something for the effort. Now, if anybody asks you who your fare was tonight, what are you gonna say? The truth. Three well dressed, slightly toasted Mexicans. Bonsoir, Esmeralda Villalobos. Buenas noches. Butch. 